Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I have my project pen update for the month of June. And if you guys keep up with my project penning journey, then you know I hyped up this update a lot and I did live up to it, honestly. I have a lot of good progress, a lot of empties, a lot of penning that I'm very excited to share with you. But before we hop into today's video, I would like to thank Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you guys have not heard of Ana Luisa before, they are a sustainable jewelry brand based in New York. And you may know I am an ambassador for Ana Luisa this year, which is always so exciting because I've been wearing their pieces for years now. And the reason why I keep wearing their pieces for so many years is because their quality of the pieces are just top notch for what you are paying. But in case you have not heard about Ana Luisa before, they are a sustainable jewelry brand based in New York. And all of their pieces are ethically made and fairly priced and that's what I love about the brand. But I did pick up some new pieces this time around that I want to share with you. The first ones I'm currently wearing on my ears. These are the Abriel earrings. So they're pretty much a really thin chain with a little pearl drop and the chain you actually loop through your piercing. And I just find that this is such a simple and timeless piece. It's so dainty but very elegant at the same time. And you guys know I love my pearls. So speaking of pearls, I did get another necklace, which I couldn't wear today because of my sweater. It's pretty high neck. But this is a necklace here. It's called the Demi Necklace. You could say it's like a matching necklace to my earrings in a way because it's on a thin chain as well, but it has little pearls all throughout it. Such a simple, dainty piece that you could wear for every day. I'm actually wearing this bracelet that I got last time, which is actually like the matching matching pair, I think. I don't know if it's exactly matching. The pearls on this bracelet is a little bit bigger, but it's just so cute. You guys know how much I love pearls, so anything with pearls on it, I'm gonna automatically love, but I feel like this is such a cute combo. Like, this would be such a cute set for, like, a gift. But the last piece I picked out is the Ashley Double Hoop Earrings. So this is in collaboration with Ashley Che here on YouTube. She was a member of Ladies Co, and she was on the Get Real podcast on Dive Studios. I absolutely love her. These are just so, so cute, and the cool thing about these is that you can actually take the hoop off so if you wanted to wear it as a single hoop or if you wanted to attach the hoop onto just one side you could do that as well and mix and match that's super pretty but those are the pieces that I got this time around if you guys wanted to shop any of these pieces or anything else on Ana Luisa feel free to use my code Judy makeup 10 at checkout to save 10% off I'll have everything linked down below in my description as well as the code and all the info you need to know but again just a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video and with that being said let's hop right into the update all right, starting off with primer as always. So I have my Pixi Priming Oil. I said that last month I was going to finish this. I was so confident and yeah, sometimes maybe don't be so confident because I couldn't finish it. But I know this month in July I will finish it because there is just so, so little left. Like I know I will finish this. I don't know what happened this past month. I feel like I I fell off track a little bit. There are some products in my project pan that I fell off track. I got sidetracked, was using other things. That's fine. It happens. But yeah, July, I'm sure I'll finish this. On the other hand, my other primer, which was the NYX Cosmetics Pore Filler Primer, as you can see, it's all done, it's all chopped up and scraped out. There is not a drop of product left in here, so this one's finished, which I'm glad it's gone. Not glad like it was a bad product and it's gone, it's just like, you know, I'm always glad to finish out my products because I have a lot to get through. And then I did introduce some new primers to you guys last month saying that if I was able to finish these primers, I will be using these ones. So I didn't get to use the Pixi Brightening Perfector Primer and I'm actually not gonna add this one in right now. Um, I think I might add in a different primer. I'm not too sure, but I'm just gonna take this out. Just forget about this. Just forget I even mentioned it, okay? However, I did start using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer 
and I don't know guys I'm in a dilemma honestly I was having like an identity crisis because I was like do I even deserve to review makeup <laughs> I'm so dramatic but no I was actually thinking that because recently I don't know my base has just been looking so horrible it's just been looking so cakey and I don't know what I'm doing whenever I use this primer and I have used this primer before like you can see I'm halfway through it whenever I use this primer I'm just like I don't like how my skin looks so I don't know if it's the primer issue a skin issue a complexion issue I'm just having issues so yeah I don't know what to do but I'm gonna still try and finish this but I'm just using a little bit and I'm experimenting what looks good on top of it because I think that does matter. Then if we move into complexion, I did pretty much finish up the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. I feel like anytime I finish up like a staple product from ColourPop of mine, it's very bittersweet but I'm glad that it's gone. I'm glad I was able to use it before like it fully, fully expired. I mean it probably was a little expired but I'm glad that I was able to finish it. So that is now gone. But then for my other foundation which is the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Because I'm having this base issue especially with this product as well. It just doesn't look good on my skin anymore and I just don't love this as much and I think it's not really my skin either I think it's also the formula I've had this for a few years now so I'm pretty sure it has gone bad so with the product that's left in there I am just gonna have to declutter this one guys I know it hurts me too to throw away product that's still in there but it just doesn't look good anymore like it just looks so heavy when this foundation used to look so amazing on my skin I used to always feel so great in it but that just isn't the case anymore and I don't want to like force myself to use any product so this one is just going to have to be decluttered. I tried my best, I mean I used a lot of it and I think if I didn't add this into my project pan I wouldn't have used as much as I did so I think that is a positive way of thinking. I'm not going to add anything new in when it comes to base. I'm just going to play around a little bit and then maybe next month I will give you an update if I want to add in anything but as of now yeah, I don't think I'm going to add anything in. There's nothing I really want to pan. Let's move on to my loose powders. I did finish up the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Airbrush Powder. This one, now that it's gone, I actually quite miss it because I've been playing with some new loose powders. And again, I don't know if it's like the weather or if it's my skin or if it's the products, but nothing... Ugh, Nothing has been looking good on my skin, guys. Um, but I do want to get through this ALF Cosmetics Halo Glow Setting Powder. I've actually had this one for a little bit now, maybe under a year, so it's not too long. But I do want to finish it. It does have a bit of a sheen to it, so I do want to finish it. I don't really use this to set my eyes or anything. It's just mainly around my cheeks. For a little bit of a glow um so yeah i do want to get through this i have been using it but very very little of it so it might take me a while to get through this entire thing because there's a lot of product in here then for my pressed powder from by beauty the change maker powder i don't know every time i look at this i'm like it always looks the same but when i go into editing it does look a little bit different so i think Every month there is just like a little bit of a difference. So yeah, that is just the update. I mean, this one's always a little bit boring to update you guys on. There's not much to talk about here. Then let's move into my brows. Got my brow powder. This one's always a little interesting. I mean, my pan, I feel like it's looking a little bit bigger here. It now looks like a little mushroom. Or it could look like something else if you have... A dirty mind. But yeah, I'm working hard on this. I've been using this one almost every day. Like, I would say every other day. And it's looking good. What else can I say? It's looking good, isn't it? But what's not looking good is my brow pencil from Bold Face Beauty. I really just want to be done with this brow pencil. I really don't enjoy this. Now that I've gone back to my ABH brow pencil, that one is just a dream to use. This one... I feel like it makes my brows look a little bit patchy, so I'm just trying to use it up when I can. I literally just use the tiniest bit. I know I said that I was going to do a tutorial for my next update, which I think for July's update, I will do a tutorial to show you how I use everything. Um, it's just today, I had something to film, so 
sorry. But now onto my eyeshadow palette, which, oh my gosh, guys, probably the most exciting thing in today's update. When I, oh, I could not wait to share this with you guys. Like, seriously, I've been keeping it in. Oh. <sighs> But okay, guys, this is my 3CE Overtake eyeshadow palette, and we have pan on six eyeshadows, and in the past month, I hit pan on three eyeshadows. Three pans, you guys. How crazy is that? When I saw the pan, I started digging. I was like, okay, we are making this pan bigger. And I do have a look with this palette where I use all nine shadows. All nine shadows, I use all of it in one look. And I'm gonna show you that in my next update where I'll do a tutorial. This shade here, this dark metallic, was that one shade that I did not use at all, like really. But I found a way to incorporate it into my look. So I'm excited to film my update for you next month where I'm doing a tutorial. Now onto the cheeks, which you guys know for my contour and bronzer. The product that I've been working on so hard on is the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette. It looks empty, but there is a little bit of contour powder left in there, and there's just a little bit, and honestly, I don't know at this point if I should just scrap it or like change it into like a loose powder or something. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll change it into loose powder. Still going strong. Hopefully July will be the month that we completely finish it. For my blush from Too Faced, the Love Flush blush in I Will Always Love You. I think when I show it on camera, it doesn't really look like I've done much, but to my eye, there is actually a significant little like dip into it, especially at the center, which makes me very happy, of course, and I've been using this blush a lot this past month. In June, I had so much more time to just do makeup that I want to do where I'm not filming, which means I'm using a lot of my Project Pan products, and I think that's how I was able to hit pan on a lot of the eyeshadows. And then for my highlighter, I mean... Again, it's like my pressed powder. When I look at it, it looks the same, but when I go into editing, it looks a little bit bigger, so hopefully. I know I did use this one a little bit more this month. I did shimmer my body a lot, which meant I went really hard with this highlighter, so hopefully it looks a little bit bigger. And then we come onto my lip products, and I feel like this is where I kind of didn't really focus on my lip products a lot for some reason. I kind of just like forgot about them, which is so weird, because usually I'm quite focused on my Project Pan products, like I know at the back of my head, but for some reason when it came to the lip products, I kind of just like forgot about them. I think I was distracted a little bit. But anyway, let's talk about my Jessica Tint Lip Crown in Peach Surprise. Um, I think it's going to look quite similar to last month. I didn't do so much scraping this month, but I'm going to put on a goal of mine to finish this in July. It's going to be a goal of mine for sure. I think I can do it because this is a mini product, which means there is less product. So I think I can definitely do it. I just need to remember. So I'm going to keep this out on my vanity table so that way I don't forget. And then for my other lip product, which is the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in Playa Vista. Even though this was on my vanity table, I also forgot to use this as well. And I blame Bite Beauty because I stocked up on their Agave Lip Balm. And I feel like I haven't used that in a while. I started using that one again. And I kind of forgot about my lip oil for a moment. And then towards the end of the month, I was like, wait. I'm doing Project Pen. Use your lip oil, girl. So yeah, I'm back to using it now. I feel like for a few weeks there, I like did not use it at all because I completely forgot. But that, you guys, was pretty much my update for the month of June. Just a little recap. We finished the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, the NYX Cosmetics Pore Filler Primer, the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder, and we are going to be decluttering the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. So that is pretty much four products out of the plan and then we only added in one new product which is the elf halo glow setting powder the highlight of the month definitely was hitting three pans on my eyeshadow palette like 
could not believe that so that was super super exciting and then goals for the next month I want to finish up my pixie priming oil and also my ColourPop just a tint lip crown in rise and shine so these two will be the goal for this coming month I'm just gonna install that into my brain but I also hope your plan has been going well in the month of June let me know how it's been going for you guys and again just a big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring a portion of today's video if you guys want to shop any of the pieces that I showed today or anything else on the website I'll have my links down below also my code Judy makeup 10 to save 10% off your order thank you guys so much for watching as always I love you so much and I'll go ahead and see you guys in my next video Bye.